Once upon a time on a sunny day a ship was sailing from Africa to North America Wow what a sunny day but it did not know that it is near one of the most dangerous places on earth the Bermuda Triangle <laughs> And then suddenly In this video we will learn about the infamous Bermuda Triangle Bermuda Triangle is a region whose boundaries are not universally agreed upon but it is said that it has a triangular shape that reaches approximately from the Atlantic coast of Florida to Bermuda to the islands known as the Greater Antilles For decades the Atlantic Ocean's fabled Bermuda Triangle has captured the human imagination with unexplained disappearances of ships, planes and people. Reports of unexplained occurrences in the region date to the mid 19th century. Some ships were discovered completely abandoned for no apparent reason and others transmitted no distress signals and were never seen or heard from again. This ship was last seen in 1925 and has mysteriously reappeared after disappearing 90 years ago in the Bermuda Triangle. The ship remains intact and afloat and has never been seen by any aircraft or seagoing ships in 9 decades. Where was the ship for so long and what happened to the crew? and no skeletal remains were found on the ship. Aircraft have been reported and then vanished, and rescue missions are said to have vanished when flying in the area. Some speculate that unknown and mysterious forces account for the unexplained disappearances. Paranormal Explanation Triangle writers have used a number of supernatural concepts to explain the events. One such theory is the Atlantis theory. According to this theory, the Bermuda Triangle is the location of the mythical lost city of Atlantis, with some proponents suggesting that the remnants of Atlantean technology, like crystal energies, cause malfunctions in ships and planes. Next is the Aliens Theory. According to this theory, some writers have blamed UFOs for the disappearances and that they believe that the aliens use the triangle as a portal to travel to and from our planet. And they believe that the area is like a gathering station where they capture people, ships and aircraft to conduct research. However, the scientists have debunked these theories. Now let's see a few natural explanation of Bermuda Triangle. The other theory is that the compass doesn't work in Bermuda Triangle. But scientists say that this is a myth. According to them, while compasses might seem to behave erratically due to magnetic variations, they still function. The Bermuda Triangle is located in an area where the magnetic radiation, that is the difference between the magnetic north and the true north, is significant. But since it is located near the agonic line, which means where the magnetic variation is zero, this can lead to confusion if navigators don't account for the variation. Another theory is rogue waves. Scientists now believe conditions in that area are just right for massive rogue waves. There are storms to the south and north which come together and if there are additional ones from Florida, it can be potentially deadly formation of rogue waves. 
Another theory is methane bubbles. The methane bubble theory suggests that large bubbles of methane gas rising from the sea floor in the Bermuda Triangle could cause ships to sink or planes to crash. But this theory is largely considered a myth with no scientific basis. Now let's see what scientists have to say about this. Last year, Australian scientist Carl Kruselniski claimed that the high number of disappearances cannot be explained by aliens or Atlantis or even by the more plausible theories involving rogue waves. Instead, he suggests that the mystery is nothing more than a perfect mix of human error, bad weather and a high concentration of ships in the area. Music